Hey guys, I, I am the last <laughs> one of us to get one of these commando locks. Uh, Geoman sent this to me uh, in a package and I had a chance to take a look at it. Uh, I'm comparing it here, well actually I'm not. I'm just putting this up to give you an idea of the size. Uh, it's about half again as big as a number three, so it's a pretty hefty lock, very thick and durable. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but you know, it is no, it's not a master lock. Uh, these things, you know, they're, they're absolute trash. I mean, you can pretty much rake these open very easily. This is no master lock. So let's just get that out of here. That was strictly for size comparison. So let's take a minute and look at this lock. Uh, first of all, you, you can't rake this one as I just did that master lock. This does have a, a higher security core. Instead of four pins, now we're looking at five pins. And this has got a little bit of a challenge there on the end. Uh, but more importantly is the outer part of the body. All hardened steel, and I did inherit the remnants from Alex Blate's test when he literally destroyed one of these locks. And several of you guys have already done that. I mean, chopped it open with grinders to look at the core and do the internal analysis. And uh, Alex gave me just the body, the hasp. I didn't get a chance to play with that. But when I tried to take a chisel to the body, unlike Master Lock, which splits almost like a piece of cheese, this thing it took a hammer. A, and a hydraulic press and a chisel to split these individual wafers apart. I mean, I beat the ever-living devil out of this thing, and I couldn't even get these little pins to do any more than maybe pop the head. So externally, this is much, much tougher than, uh, than the master lock. The core as well. As I said, you're not going to be raking this. I've tried several times, and it, is a, uh, it does have security pins. So let's give this thing, again, I'm the last guy on YouTube to do this, I know that, but let's see if we can give this little lock a little, some love this afternoon. My wife gave me all day Saturday off, so I figured, hey, why not try to do some catching up? Probably should put this in the vise. This is a kind of an odd angle for me, but hey, I'll give it a shot. Okay, I got a little fault set out of it. No deeper fault set. A deeper fault set if that's possible. So I think it's probably got at least four spool pins in there. And I'm missing one. Oh there he is. He's pin one. It's always the last one. It's always oops. It's always the one that's beneath the uh, tension wrench. Anyway, that's my nemesis. That's <laughs> Anyway, this is no master lock, fellas. These are quite tough, and you know, I think I, I didn't buy this as I said it was donated to me, but um, I think cost-wise, these are about the same as master locks. They're, I think they're right around ten bucks, which for a lock of this quality for only ten bucks, uh, I think that's a great investment for like a toolbox or something else. Anyway, thank you very much for your time, everybody. Stay safe and uh, stay legal.